picked this uh, turntable up the other day from a thrift store. Let's say it's about 1984 or something like that. It's a Techniques SL B200. It's got its uh, queuing on here. Automatic stop. Everything works beautiful on it. Things in mint condition. The lid on it. No scratches, nothing whatsoever. There's not even any blemishes whatsoever on this. I've looked all over it. Clean as a whistle. It's even got its original stylus on there. The original Technique stylus. And it works fine. Um, it comes with a rubber mat. These things are hard to find nowadays on old uh, phonographs, record players. Turntable works very nicely. The only thing it had was the old belt on it was disintegrated. It was pretty much glued to there. So I ordered a new belt and should be getting that in a few days. Belt will be uh, not a problem to put on here. Okay, so I picked up a belt for this uh, turntable. Got it from my needle store on Amazon. Pretty good. Came here in just a couple days. Didn't take long. And this is basically what the belt looks like. Serial number FBM2124. Pretty simple. So we'll throw it on and uh, show you how it works. Alright, so I'll just take off the rubber mat here. Take off the turntable itself. Okay, we'll see if I can do this with one hand. Basically, you take the belt. That. Okay, I'll be back because obviously I can't do this one hand. So basically, the belt is on there. I don't know if you can pick that up too much on the camera. There it is right there. As you do is take it, put the spindle back on, or the turntable back on, like that. And use little grooves here on either side. Just take the belt and there you go. She's good to go. And these little uh, notches here, they're for locks. They used to come with little plastic keys. You put them in, and you lock it in place. It's mostly for transporting your moving or whatever. That way it's, your turntable's not going to move. Just lock it in place. It's mostly for moving it around and stuff. Most of these gone when people get rid of them when they get anyway they never use them but that's what they're basically for okay so i got the dust cover back on got it plugged in and show you how it's worked automatic return automatically shuts off that's a nice feature Record's playing, you want to stop it. It's a very good turntable. Everything works, like I said. It's it's almost like mint condition, brand new. It's almost like it was put in a box and put away in storage and never used. Under a hundred bucks, I'd say, close. And it's roughly 
early 80s fall and uh, tape deck and receiver. It's been taken care of. No flaws on it that I can tell. Everything works fine, so nice vintage find. Hey, I'll give you a quick sample how it sounds. Got some rolling stones here. I'll just give you a quick sample. Stop. Very nice. Stops on its own. Level arm up. And let's see here when you get to the end of it. Automatic return home and it'll shut itself off. Everything works. And here's the receiver. It's Techniques SA121. And the tape deck is RS. B10. Get your tape counter. Power button, obviously. Get your eject. Record, play, stop, rewind, fast forward, and you pause. Get your normal chrome and metal. Don't see these too often anymore. Got your noise reduction, recording input, recording levels, phono, mic jacks, and uh, for the receiver, got your speakers, bass, treble, got your balance. FM stereo, tape selector, got your volume, CD and aux, tape deck, tuner, phono, and tape selection. Pretty nice unit for its age. Yes, and some nice little artwork that the people left on. And here is the back view of the hookups of the stereo. It's the receiver. Your plug-ins for your speakers. Hookup jacks. So the antenna hookup. This will be for your phone. Your tape deck. Tape deck down here in the bottom, line in, line out. And your hookups for your photograph. Pretty basic. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it.